So apparently there's a city where you can legally steal houses and we're about to check it out. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get it. Squatters. This guy just literally broke down my door. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Hey! hey. 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 You want to do You want to steal? This is Seattle, Washington, a city where you can In legally Washington? steal other people's homes. Are they going to pay your legal fees? the property. Are you going to pay rent this month? If you don't vacation. What's up with these expensive, like the most expensive states are usually the worst when it comes to like homelessness and like drug addiction and whatnot. Like there needs to be a study, bro, because there's no way San Francisco. We literally just did a video on that with like the drug well, epidemic that's going on. Now we have Seattle with the, um, I guess what the homeless is like squatting now. Like, come on, bro location they can come anyone can say how is this legally even possible they fully moved in there they had suitcases bags they had food in the fridge our children were traumatized by this experience it goes yeah. back to the old times where it's like when you showed up and you took some land i feel like that's the times we're getting back to yeah. being arrested for what for being in my own home if wow. the woman says it's her property and he says he lives here and she says they're squatting she would have to go to court and go through the entire legal process to have him evict. Yeah, but I live here now. Oh, you do? Sure. Well, good for you. Don't kick me out. It's a civil problem. This state is civil. <laughs> wait, wait. That's that can be that simple, right? Just be like, I live here. No proof of anything. No ID. No nothing. Just say I live here, and it's just like okay, like. And if you need this person to get removed, you have to go to the court and all that pro like come on, man. Like sometimes the laws doesn't make any sense God. whatsoever. If the owner of the property sees this. What's a message you'd like to give to him? It seems like Sorry. he's <laughs> I headed to the epicenter of the crisis, Seattle, Washington, to meet up with local journalist Jonathan Cho to see what's going on. Who's been exposing the squatting epidemic the and the hell? broken laws protecting them? Starting with Sang Kim. He recently Came with a karate made national chop. headlines for squatting in this $2 million property in Bellevue, Washington. After the entire neighborhood banded together to shame Kim out of the neighborhood, Seattle's Housing Justice Project paid $88,000 in delinquent rent for Kim to his missed rent out of taxpayer dollars. How much what? longer are you going to be staying here, sir? Get out of the property. He intentionally is not paying rent. He's exploiting the system. But why is Kim still squatting in this house? And why won't he simply leave? Morning, Jonathan. We're because he's not being forced to. Right, man. <laughs> so right behind us, we have a beautiful view. We're in a nice ass neighborhood. How much are these houses? I mean, on average, two to three million dollars. This is Damn. the elite Woodridge neighborhood with gorgeous skylines of downtown Bellevue. I mean, everyone wants to live here. And when I mentioned squatters to you, you said you got to come down here. I have a story for you. <laughs> and then I saw the story pop up on my Twitter feed. You can't make this stuff up. Uh, it's now a, a global story. I mean, you've got Daily Mail on this. You've got the Mirror, the Sun, national networks like Fox news covering this you've got this guy kim who's been uh staying at this house now for more than two years now and he hasn't paid a single penny of rent uh, after the first month that is so we're gonna knock on kim's door right now ask him if he's gonna pay this upcoming rent so right in front of us we so he got into this house right knowing that he's never gonna pay rent because he say after the first month like he never paid <laughs> so he literally just got the house knowing that he can't afford it he can't he's not going to pay rent bro like come on man you have two no trespassing, three no trespassing signs, car parts right in front. The problem now here in Washington is that the homeowner, Jaskaran Singh, even if he wants to evict the guy, there's a backlog of eviction cases in court. It's a broken system. If Kim doesn't pay in May, Singh says he will start the eviction process for the fourth time. There have been oh nearly God. two months of protests, public shaming of Kim to get out, but still, Kim is uh, hunkering down. So Kim did in fact eventually pay the amount he was owed. Housing Justice Project used taxpayer dollars. That's the key. So, and he knows that's the why everyone system is so, so well that he can take advantage of it. But before I confront the squatter, let's talk to the homeowner. There he is. I'm here with? Just got in Singh. Singh, you own this home, right? Yes, sir. Uh, how much did this home cost? Right now, value is close to two million. So Damn. I, I lived in this country 18 years. This is my second investment property, and it took me a while. Okay. It's my hard-earned money invested here. And who respect, currently lives respect. in this home? He's a squatter. He's he has been exploiting the system since 1996. He has done multiple scams, and being an immigrant, I was tricked by him, and mm. I trusted him and his family to give him on a rent. 
See, this is what happened when you're too nice, bro. Like, when you feel bad for people, people like to take that and use that as your weakness and just take advantage of you, bro. Like, like he said, he said he felt bad because he's an immigrant, too. So, just like, an immigrant to an immigrant, I'm trying to look out for you. Are you going to do that to me, bro? That's why I stay in my own lane, bro. That's why I stay away from people, bro. People are dangerous. But he's not leaving for last two years, and he's exploiting the system. How did it go down? He paid the first month and the second month and the last month as a security deposit and it's uh, he didn't pay afterwards okay fourth eviction if he doesn't pay the rent next week so when you say fourth eviction what does that even mean i would assume the first second or third would get him out of the house that means there's a housing justice project the system is protecting basically he's paying his rent through our taxpayer money he's getting a lawyers from our taxpayers money he's milking the system and we need to stop it how much money have you lost on the property since he's been in here um, it's a lawyer fee close to 35,000. It's a, the rent is paid, but the mental, I live just thousand feet from the property and I can't drive on this road and we can't walk in some mental. legally cannot Damn. drive through this road. Yeah. Legally, I was not able to till last Wednesday. And this should be a message to all the squatters that we will get you. We will get you. We'll get you. Enough is enough. If you're on vacation, they can come. Anyone can <laughs> sit. So watch out guys. It's what I expected. And people from India, Australia, England, my friends, relatives, they're calling me. They're saying, what? Is this is what happening in America? Yeah, bro. Pay rent this month? I have no idea. I have no you idea. knock on the door and ask me? You can go ahead. But before I knocked on Kim's door, I wondered what does the neighborhood think about this? This is a nice neighborhood. Oh, you guys thank live. you. Yeah, we My love name's it. Tyler, by the way. Jeff. How much do houses typically go for around here? Recently, there's been some selling for two and a half, three. Uh, Damn. New houses are going for almost four. Do you own Wait, a home out there's... here? Yes. This one right behind. You see, all right, that's kind of like Florida, bro. There's no way this house is worth that much, bro. Yeah, we My name's it. Tyler, by the way. Jeff. How much do houses typically go for around here? Recently, there's been some selling for two and a half, three um, okay. new houses. This house, right? $1.6 million, bro. This little ass house, bro. Ain't no way I'm paying more than 150 tops for this house, bro. 150 tops is where it's at there's no way not even an acre not even one acre not even 0.5 bro you get about a quarter of an acre for 1.6 million dollars there's no way that's they're yeah. going for almost four <laughs> do you own a home out here yes i'm sorry hell no how would you feel if someone moved into your home when you were on vacation and then refused to leave uh that would be unbelievable i don't i don't know what i would do sure. um i would probably first call the police to see if they could be removed but with the situation we have across the street obviously that's not a not a deal do you think mm. the law is on the homeowner's side here in washington uh no not no. currently because we thought you know once we sell this house if we could afford to hang on to it we'd like to rent it out but after the last year this guy across the street we've thought differently about that i i don't understand why he's been able to remain in there I understand there's a housing project that will pay his rent, but I think the taxpayers are the ones paying for that money that's going to him. Sure. I can understand, like, he's in, like, you know, complete debt, and, like, he need, he need, like, a house and whatnot, but you don't need a $2 million house, bro. And then on top of that, have the taxpayer pay for your rent, bro. That's not, like, the that's not right Washington at all. should change as it relates to squatting? Absolutely. I think King County needs to do a lot of stuff. Ever since they started making drugs legal over there in Seattle and stuff, I, I don't know. This I don't know what's going on, but we're considering Weekend. moving out of this state. All right, we're going in. You know, so this is where it gets weird. I don't know if Kim will come to the door if I'm there. All right, give me a so moment. So maybe you should go. Hey there, what was that? We're here with the press. We're just seeing if we could talk to you about the squatting situation. What's this the squatting situation. It's already been settled and all that. So okay, we're wondering if are, are you going to pay rent this month? Can you please get off the property? Yeah, well, we got get authorization the from the get landlord the to come. Property. Sure. I'm the one who's leaving here. Get off the property. Okay, is HJP going to pay get your legal fees property, this month? Please. Are they going to pay your legal fees? Get off the property. Scamming us, But we're just wondering if you're going to pay your rent and redeem yourself. That's my business, not yours. Okay. Bro, you can't well, feel right. Well, it's business, right? No, it's not. Property. What if the taxpayers are paying your legal fees? Yeah, not this time? Taking advantage of the oh. community is right. crazy. Well, gonna, Here's the thing I want to emphasize, that from his perspective, he's the victim. He's always framed himself as the victim, as this Korean national who's just trying to live the American dream. You know, he, he's not trying to hurt anybody, but in fact, everyone's hurt him. Sure. And he used... And people like people like that ruin it for other people too, because now he's gonna everyone gonna 
watching news and be like, oh, this immigrant. So now it's like a bad look on all of us, like everyone else. So it's kind of like, come this, on, bro. You know, Mr. Singh is an example of a crooked landlord who never fixed any of the appliances and just would constantly pressure him. But as you know, Singh also had a temporary protection order filed against him by Mr. Kim, and Singh prevailed. He won in court. There's no world where... Josh Karan could come in here, change the locks, and they could leave. That's not going to happen because I think that's against the law here in Washington State now. He would wow. go to jail. He would go to prison. Since filming this, saying Kim his has refused property. to pay rent on time again, and Josh Karan will be moving forward with his fourth eviction attempt. After meeting the intermediate squatter Kim, what does the beginner squatter look like? I met up with Andrea Suarez, founder of We Heart Seattle, who said she knew where we could find some squatters nearby. Uh, up until recently, this uh, building was used as a squatter's. Uh, haven and just recently fenced off and recently we're seeing action here where it's being finally demolished. But this was, I guess, had been squatted in for months. Uh, the neighbors had called multiple nine. Okay, one thing I wish it would do, right? I don't know how strong, how, like, I don't know, like, the building, like, how strong it is. If it have to be demolished, why not just use the money, right? The taxpayers' money, let people vote on it, and then renovate that whole thing and just let them squat in there bro let's be like here he goes don't you know what i'm saying because if they if the one man having the community pay 80 grand in just rent for one person bro that 80 grand could go into this re renovation and you know help a lot more than just one when person ones, multiple fires uh nothing was ever done about it the police couldn't really do anything about trespassing because it's on private property yeah you can see all the boards all access points the broken windows yeah. i'm sure there was working plumbing showers have you seen anything going on here as it relates to squatting like i have noticed that like this house has been pretty much squatted or unoccupied for like the last two years i've lived here two years yeah, like, <laughs> li i've literally never ever seen anyone live here or like anyone actually own the house it seems like what are your thoughts on squatter rights here in seattle uh i mean i think it's a bit ridiculous in my opinion i just think it's a they have a little too much rights for what it is like i mean people work hard to own a house like this and to literally right. they're just looking to rent it out and they can't find someone to rent like rent's ridiculously expensive right now so it's like just someone can pretty much just hop into a lot of these houses a lot of them are unoccupied and i think that's a little ridiculous for how hard a lot of the people work around here how expensive a lot of these houses and the like, property is Thanks, Damn. Man. Okay. almost a million yeah. dollars all right this one's abandoned here do we think there's a squatter inside? Oh, this one looks like it's open. Yeah, it looks pretty active. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, that looks, no, it's a dead end. Yeah, I mean, this is a nightmare, man, for all the neighbors who have to live next to these empty houses that are probably set for demolition. Um, and the squatters know where to go, and people live in here. And, you know, there's no heat, there's no electricity, so you've got to stay warm, right? Sure. So you start fires. And that's why you have all these scorch marks on pretty much every single structure here. It's the fire, Damn. the murder, the body, the outrage by neighbors, calls to the mayor, media, 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 that is in critical mass is finally, then there's action. Tragedy always has to happen multiple times before action has been taken. And Facts. thankfully we're seeing that action being taken now. We've cleared over 1.2 million pounds of trash, 35,000 needles. Damn. We found 12 oh. dead bodies and we've helped hundreds of people off the streets into detox, back home, back to mom, back to grandma, back to their families, um, get clean and sober, get the a job. Kids, bro. Because it doesn't seem like any other social service wants to uh, do anything but enable addiction. We have people that live right here, I just wanna emphasize, we have lights on, this is someone's property, right next to them, active squatters, active fire, building getting shut down. They said a body was found out here? Yeah, the bodies unfortunately get dumped in these empty houses, abandoned buildings. So who knows what's going on in these places. Right now it's boarded up, but I truly believe within a matter of weeks, somebody's, somebody's gonna try to go back in. I mean, if you peer through the window there, <laughs> oh, it's like freshly boarded off. We're gonna go to another property where active squatting is going down and meet a guy named Sizor, Caesar, the king himself. Looks like she's found out where it is. But the needle caps, I think we've arrived. Watch your back, don't get mugged. Use common sense, genuinely, I don't, I don't trust this. Remember the yep. last squatter motel? Yep. The hilltop? Just a few hundred feet down. It right over there. Demolished. Next to all these squatter houses. It makes all the sense. This the is world. where we pulled over, found the guys. Yeah. It burned down. Yeah, you're in down. Bag here. Wow. There's urine bags. Sizar, welfare check. Several houses on this side of the road alone. Look. Hey, you okay? Oh, you're back. 
Yeah, hey. Hey there. Whoa, oh, man. yo, what's up? How you, you doing, bro? Guys? We, hey, we didn't know if you were alive. Yo, I'm alive, I just didn't, I, I went work on that card, bro. Dude, we gotta talk. Oh last, my God. last time we saw you, <laughs> you were I'm in the building. right now, bro. Dude! We I meet know, again! This is Caesar. Four months ago, Jonathan and I found him squatting in this abandoned building, and 11 days later, the building was found to have burned down. I had no clue what happened to him since, and the Damn. viewers loved him. Oh, yeah. I got all your tools. Uh, I'm a boss. We got my Ray Rage right here, my Ray Band. You know, this is where I'm gonna make my fortune. Are you good to know that he's back and, you know, you know no? he's no, all man. good. Uh, I done firefighter training, like. Really? I got a lot of skills, Ray. Dude, how did it go? You what happened to us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me and Tyler. No, we came yeah, last time. Tyler. We've reunited. Can we see what's going on? I recognize your voice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so I'm painting right now. So just mind your clothes, bro. Yeah. Okay, heard. Andrea. So we wait, 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 wait. It's been squad and doing his own renovation. All right, hey, you gotta respect it, bro. You gotta respect it. I think it's a build, abandoned building. So he, he should be straight, bro. The man who we spoke to in the building that burned down. I want to hear your story, man. What happened to the building? Uh, you, was, you was gay, bro, and you want to do gay stuff with me. Oh, he was trying to smash? Yeah, and, and I was like, I'd rather burn in hell. <laughs> he tried to burn me, huh? So, tried to kill you? I assume. Okay. He tried to kill you in the fire? He lit the fire, bro. He lit the fire to spite you because you guys wouldn't have gay sex? I think. I don't know, bro. I haven't been like... What? I, I thought I thought he done. might not even be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's shaking his head like... Sizer, we have so many people on the internet that have believed in you, wanted to hear what yeah. happened to you. We found you. We didn't know you were Sizer. Uh, I, I knew you guys were going to find me because this is the way it works, bro. You know, that, that's how God works. Sizer. 10 million Facts. people saw you know, and know, you saw know. the video, right? But, uh, what am I supposed to do, bro? Hop on that sax or what? Like, like, <laughs> I'm over here chilling, dude. Like, all this right here is all dumpster dive. Wow. This is the most unexpected reunited moment of all time. We never saw we'd, we'd see you again. So we got wet paint. I just want to establish the size of you. You've nice. been grinding since we last oh, saw yeah. you. See right here, like I don't have tape. I can't afford it. See, so like, tell me about your project in here. It's blue. It's nicely painted. Oh, well, first I, I painted it white. I wanted white on white. I want to hear a story here. Yeah, let's... But then I ran out of paint. <laughs> what, are you, what are you supposed to do? So I... Let it be known. You have like a million dollar view right here. He's such a real one. Ass, dude. Damn, that's it's a nice crazy. view. Yeah, man, you guys are crazy, dog. You were trying to knock down the door. I was like, <laughs> I recognize your voice and what you were talking about. I was like, oh, that's that fool. So, actually, I want to bring this up, Caesar. We have some Australian YouTubers who thought we burned down the building after meeting you. Wait, wait, look, look what it says in the corner. The footage of the house burning is from the Joe show. Wait, the news footage used Joe's footage? Yeah. So that means he was the first He was the there. first person there. After all the shit I've seen in this video, I'm going to say, just my opinion, what? not real. These guys burnt these men alive. <laughs> what actually happened? Bro, this is why I stay off the internet, bro. Like, come on. Like, why would you even think for what content for views that he don't even need like as if he's not big enough like come on no diddy but like come on bro you know the toilet flushes backwards down here so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i remember last time we saw the porn on the wall was that you or no, the that guy was the other fool. so that is what he was aspiring to be like oh the woman he wanted the dude, to be the, the woman dude. yeah so he, like i thought he was just weird you're in seattle bro there's a lot of weird shit here, so uh, like, See, I, so I actually made a comment i said at least you're straight but that guy wasn't straight. Uh, uh, no, nah, so I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, Caesar, you know you're squatting, though, right? Yeah. What am I supposed to do, though? Like, I don't want to work for anybody else because they just keep douching me, bro. Like, Can you give us a tour, as yeah, per yeah. usual? Caesar, where are you finding all this gear? Walking around, bro. Looking for weed roaches on the floor. Caesar, you're a hustler, man. Weed roaches is again, crazy. Sick view right here. What do you think this property is worth, Caesar? This is sick. It's pretty sick, bro. Uh, a mill or two? I don't know, bro, but I'm hoping to impress the property owner when he comes kicking me out. If the owner of the property sees this, what's a message you'd like to give to him? It seems like Sorry. <laughs> I'm here to do this for, for me and for my future, and this is just the best I could come up with as far as showcasing my skills. Sure. They know how they left it. Oh, you got a trap phone, too. That's the state I, At least he's trying to fix it. At least that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to impress the house homeowner to see if they can come up with, like, a solution. I respect it, bro. This one. I respect it. That's what what begging Ari. Yeah. Uh, turn off the speaker. Keeping it quiet at night. No yeah, fires. Yeah, 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 yeah. No parties. So you're added security to the block. That's what he, he feels like the other day. He was like, thank you. And I was like, I hear that, you know. Oh, that's that's interesting. better to have a known yeah, neighbor I, and resident I, than a, you know, revolving door. So, so you're holding down the fort. All those little and that door stays locked at night? All the time. Yeah. So all those little things add up to confidence and trust and those are the things that a painter needs from his client and, and he's nice. speaking business knees right now <laughs> 
You got all your tools so, back, too? Get the... Yo! So the damn! Bro, his hot game is you strong. You are dripped out, Caesar. With Ari blasting in the background and a baseball cap collection that would make Lids jealous, Caesar was renovating the abandoned building and ready to leave if and when the owner asked him to. In this scenario, unlike Sang Kim and Bellevue, landowners might actually benefit from having a guy like Caesar live full-time in this abandoned building until they want it back, assuming he's responsible and doesn't burn the place down. Caesar, it's been a pleasure, man. But what happens when you buy a home, there's an old tenant who's been living in there rent-free for the last two years who refuses to leave leaving you with 1.4 million less dollars stuck with legal fees Damn. in court for the last eight months and forcing you and your four kids to move in with your mom and dad well that's allegedly the case of our alleged white collar squatter steve Hick. Wow. we just want to take a look at the squatting epidemic in the united states but this is unique because we have a guy in a position of power relative wealth doing well for himself He's not some degenerate, jobless bum breaking into someone's house. This is a well-known figure in the community. Is he legally allowed to be there right now? Based on what I can tell, I mean, the answer is no. Just for the <laughs> viewers out there, a, a month or two ago, I called someone out as a scammer, and it turns out they weren't exactly a scammer. So coming into this situation, I'm a little bit skeptical. I want to make sure this guy is, in fact, innocent till proven guilty. We want to hear both sides fully and then come to a conclusion, if any. Yeah, you know, and this is really complicated for me as well. Um, I was a little hesitant to take on this story, and frankly, I don't know where it's going to go. Really? Because um, it's still early on. Well, he's not only an industry colleague, I would consider him a friend. Somebody who's given me news tips, somebody who's helped me out in the field. Like, one of the nicest guys you'll meet. But cool. the allegations were are just like too ridiculous now to ignore so as a journalist i've just got to be objective now he has more than a million followers uh on all of his social media platforms and he's just well respected and he does decent work especially during a time when american journalism is in decline frankly i've you know called him several times already and had private conversations and i'm like dude I don't know if these are true, these allegations, that is. Well, but I say allegations, are, though. you got to, like, settle these. And I, I just try to walk them off the cliff and say, look, man, it's not worth your career. He knows the law. He knows how to take advantage of the system. Before confronting Steve at his own garage sale, Jonathan and I were invited to a victim's party hosted by several alleged victims of Steve appearing in person and on Zoom. I'm here with Lee Strom. And what did Steve do to you? Steve uh, failed to meet his contractual requirements about three and a half years into a five-year contract. Down. He stopped paying any rent uh, as he was supposed to and became a squatter. And he cost you roughly? Roughly $150,000 plus attorney fees. Katrina Down. Freitag, I purchased this home from the Stroms, of which Steve Hickey has been squatting in since September of 2023. How much in delayed or absent rent have you not received from Steve Hickey? Since purchasing the home, so over seven months. Which would equate to roughly? Uh, upwards of probably 50,000. Jessica Damn. Scotty and Chris Scotty. What did Steve do to you guys? Uh, well, the home that we're sitting in. Bro, if you rent in the house, right, and it costs you 50 racks in seven months to rent, bro, just buy a house, bro. Like, there's no reason for you to be spending that type of money on rent. There's no, there's no reason. Um, he basically he backed that. out once he had quite a bit of money that he could get months? his hands on from our bank loan money from Flagstar Bank. Um, so we basically were left in shambles with about forty thousand dollars in liens, um, as well as about ninety thousand dollars in bank money that was still uh, should have been accounted for that he could not provide the proof of where that money went. So now we're in the process today, uh, you know, of really vetting what's going on, and we're trying to connect the dots and really follow the paper trail to see where this goes. Because what I laid out to Steve was that his career was like on a rocket ship. Why would you risk everything that you've accomplished to allegedly squat in a house? To me, yeah, that that's makes no crazy. sense. I think I've heard I about this too. Like multiple people that invested with him that some of them just, do, they just want to move on with their life. He wreaks so much havoc in people's lives. like. One of them was like, my wife threatened to divorce me. Like, I just, I had to pull out a home equity line of credit to pay the guy off to get Damn. him out of my life. He plays on people's emotional, like, and he just wears them down. And to the point where you're just like, I just need Defeated. to keep moving on with my life. And then, but he's wreaked havoc on so many. And, and 
allegations, but I'm, I know this is tr true from what I've heard, he stole from a quadriplegic vet, somebody who served and wow. protected our country. Okay, can you explain your guys' relationship with Steve Hickey? Yes, I have no complaints about Steve up through 2021. Okay. It was in 2022, in April in particular, that he stopped making payments. And oh. uh, after April, we went through a phase where he was trying to renegotiate the deal. We never could come to terms with each other on that renegotiation. And in June of 2022, he told us he was going to purchase the property, which was great. We, in fact, signed papers. Notary came to our house in Arizona. Everything looked good, but the money never transferred. It never happened. Wow. And uh, when I questioned him about that, uh, he just at one point just said, I'm not going to pay you. So real quick, before you sold the property to Katrina, how much money was delinquent that he owed you via rent? Uh, roughly $150,000. Uh, was there any additional counsel or what? legal fees that you incurred yes, throughout that process? Yes. Yeah, about oh 32000 up to this point in time because we were still pursuing him legally. And during that 15 months of delinquency or lack of payment, did you try to evict him from the property? Yes, yes. In fact, we went to arbitration because our contract called for that. Uh, we uh, prevailed in that arbitration. He was ordered to pay us, and uh, he just ignored it, essentially. Rather than paying the, the amount just ignore full, it. he went to court with you and also incurred legal fees, battled it out in court? Uh, we're still battling, yes. To this day? To this day. So after a year and a half of not paying his rent, you sell this property while he's still in it to Katrina? Oh, yes, and we were very upfront about the situation at the time. Once she's able to get him out of there and get the property back up to speed, her equity will, I think, cover. No. And Katrina thought he may leave? Uh, I, I believe that's true, but you yeah, should ask. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, attorneys reviewed the situation. <laughs> he was in the house, and his, I believe it was a five-year lease agreement, was to be up end of September, um, and he had not paid rent. So it was under your belief that he would leave the property at what point in time? Uh, when I purchased the home, we submitted a vacate notice and lease termination for 90 days. December 31st, he was to be moved out. And did he move out? No, he has Damn. squatted since, have not received any rent money. He really fooled us, is yeah. what I would say. When he dropped off his first rent checks, he came in in a helicopter and did it. He landed in the front yard in a helicopter Wow. With the film crew. <laughs> he, was, he was actually flying the helicopter. Yeah. That's awesome. It really just... So wait, the first time he did all that just to pay the first month's rent and then go ghost afterwards. <laughs> so he did that just to impress him and be like, okay, he really got money. And then eventually just stopped. Uh, made us feel more wow. sure about this guy. <laughs> steady that's, financially yeah, that's the con man part of it you've never gotten to move in enjoy Damn. the home no the primary purpose was uh for my primary residence with my four young children to be raised in the residence um enjoy the property financially how much has his uh, occupation or squatting in the property cost you thus far? Um, just in rent alone, that's about $50,000. Attorney's Damn. fees, I did have this point with my current attorney. It's upwards of, a, I would say, $40,000, including damages um, caused to the home itself during site visits. Um, it is not being kept up wow. as well uh, as maintained at the very the least. So I believe that's upwards of probably another seventy-five to hundred thousand dollars. And why did you agree to speak oh with God, us about the situation? Man. Phil, it's the right thing to do. Um, not only supporting landlords in Washington State, but King County as well. The current timelines in getting a show cause hearing to actually get a squatter out. And what is that doing to those landlords? Can you guys explain your relationship to Steve Hickey? Uh, in 2020, right? We met with him to interview him to be our builder for this home. This beautiful property with the triple rainbow behind us. Thank oh, you. triple? We, we were able to before. keep it after what he put us through. So you contacted Steve and asked him to do what specifically? Well, to be honest, I wanted to be like, I want to, I wanted to have like, you know, a few rental properties and whatnot. But after watching this, Washington, bro, y'all will never see me a day in my life. There's no way in hell I'll ever purchase anything in Washington.
<laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not happening. Builder. Steve nope. basically Hell was no. approved, and then we went through the process of basically allowing him our entire loan construction fund that was allotted to us to build this home. Did you vet Steve at all before you hired him? Um, well, based on the fact that he put our children on his fire truck, he was a man of the community. He was sitting at oh, District 47. He's one of those. Okay. He's one of those. He'll go the extra mile for you to trust him, and then he'll just cut you off. Yeah, okay. He's one of those. <laughs> and is a commissioner, um, fire protection agency. I mean, he had his whole his whole shtick down. So we just proceeded. Check every so box. He was literally wired our money every time we got a bank wire for supplies or the next phase in the project. How much money in total was wired to Steve for the construction of this home? Uh, the total amount that was in question that he should have showed receipts for was about $90,000 okay. that he just skipped town and walked away with. We Damn. said, show us where the money went. And he said? And he said, no. <laughs> and then what happened? And after that, the communication went silent. And the stress of it, my husband has an autoimmune disorder that's triggered by stress and he almost was hospitalized. Our children were traumatized by this experience. How would you characterize Steve from your time meeting him and spending time with him? How is he as a person? I mean, he's a criminal. Do you think he'll try to lie to us tomorrow when we confront him with the evidence in case? Hell he yeah. Was Steve a white collar squatter or does he have rights to the house? And if so, is the legal system broken in Seattle? It was time to meet <laughs> Steve himself at his own garage sale at the property he's allegedly squatting in as we speak. I don't know how he's oh, going he to squat in So I'm hoping that it's respectful. I hope that you know, he shares his side of the story. Um, and uh, I, I hope that this is all a misunderstanding. Quite frankly, Steve has so much to lose. So I'm wondering why he would take this risk and gamble because he has a career as an independent journalist. He's an elected fire commissioner. He's got a family, he's got a daughter. So let's see what he has to say. Okay, so. With eviction notices, confirmation via court confirming Hickey's failure to pay since February of 2022, and text between Steve and Jonathan giving Steve a chance to explain what was going on two weeks ago, that Steve eventually ghosted <laughs> after saying he would personally send Jonathan's way, how would Steve defend himself? D does he have any evidence that he could present that would invalidate any of these claims? So far, I haven't seen anything, and I've asked him now for nearly two weeks to produce something, something that would show that he has a right to stay in the property. We're, we, I've given Crazy. him every opportunity. Maybe it is a big misunderstanding. I hope it is. We're gonna go there now and give him a chance to speak for himself. Let's do it. Let's go. Steve, how's it going, man? My name's Tyler. So we're doing a piece on squatting here in Seattle. We wanted to reach out. My name's Tyler. Right? What was that? The attorney got a hold of you. We wanted to ask you a little bit about sure, that, actually. Come on back here. Okay, Let's yeah. Get the I appreciate that. How are you doing today, by the way? Doing okay. Are you calling the cops? Is that what's happening? Yeah, come on. We can do it. Okay. Oh, we wanted to give you an honest chance to just kind of you explain didn't fly it. Out here for an honest chance. You know that. What do you mean? You, you wouldn't fly all the way out here for none. <laughs> oh, what, what are you talking about? Apparently, they're online, uh, online YouTubers. That's what they're saying. One of them's Jonathan Cho. Another one is Tyler Oliveri. Oliveria. Oh. Well, they, they're here with microphones in my face, wanting to ask questions. But I want you guys to get out here as soon as possible because sure. they were already told through the attorneys not to come on the property. There's Start been, from the beginning here. Tell you, okay. There's been an ongoing real estate contract dispute. I know Jonathan's making a name right now, bringing out a, a squatter out in Bellevue, done, which is a clear squatter. He's been doing quite well with that. This is not that. This is okay. a real estate transaction gone bad. The litigation shows that we are currently in litigation on this. We, I come in here, given the previous owner hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash for rights to purchase the property he then blocked in cash i'm gonna let him cook real quick and then we're gonna see and what he's saying owner, hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash for rights to purchase the property he then blocked me at every turn to execute those rights that's what we're in contract for i'm not going to give you paperwork that's involved in an ongoing litigation if you guys want to do that so you obviously have paperwork have at it i'm not going to participate in that show does this look like a squad is there piles of trash and so on like this is not that type of situation you don't Steve was right technically he's a holdover tenant and here's a lawyer explaining the difference well in seattle we we make a distinction and actually across the state of washington between squatting and say someone who's a, a holdover tenant um, let's say i go away on a vacation and someone breaks into my home and starts living there that's a squatter that's different than if i rent someone else a, a, a home and then they stop paying me. Um, now we have a legal dispute about debt and how much they owe and maybe the condition of the property. So squatting, holdover tenants, two different legal categories altogether. Yeah. 
Gotcha. She owns the home, right? Mm -hmm. She bought the home, yes. There's, there's she owns the home. We can keep playing this game or you can let me speak. Which would you like to do? If you bought something, you own it. There's no difference, bro. <laughs> Why are you getting upset for what? <laughs> it's the same bought thing. The home, yes. There's, there's she owns the home. We can keep playing this game or you can let me speak. Which would you like to do? The previous owners have stated you failed to pay rent for a year and a half. Is that accurate? The previous owners breached contract. In what ways? I, it's all in the paperwork. They breached contract, failed to perform, and then I withheld performance after they failed to perform. It's just that simple. She should have not closed on the home. She should have let this resolve itself and done a purchase pending this resolution. I was blown away that she was willing to close under that pretense. No, no savvy buyer would have done anything like that. She is a savvy buyer. Why is Jonathan after me though? Why do you think that is? Instead of the hundred other people who've sure. actually taken money, because well, one of his I big narratives is, Jonathan's... one of his big narratives is, sure. Kim's been taking money to cover his rent, right? From this, I, that's never happened here. That's not what this is. This is a real estate purchase contract gone sideways. But the truth is, after requesting court documents from King County and reading hundreds of pages of case documents, Housing Justice Project was, in fact, involved and legally represented Ooh. Steve in the early stages of this process. Now he has a new attorney fighting on his behalf. Well, I want to emphasize that this isn't just about you. You're an I example. Believe I don't believe it's just about me, but for you to fly all the way out here and come here, well, especially after what the attorney We flew said out to the state of Washington. Steve, here's what the fact of the matter is. Mm -hmm. You said you would send me documents. I did not say I would send you documents. I said I would talk to the attorney. And I, you, you can get anything you want. Jonathan, can you read the text? Go for it. I mean, I have the text right here. We now have more than a dozen <laughs> other victims who say you've run a construction hustle. That's bullshit. This one. That's bullshit. So you can take this by, you can, this all goes away if you show documents that show you own this house you want, that squad. So you want me to show you documents that are part of ongoing litigation? Yeah. Well, well, Steve, can I, can I ask, mm -hmm. why would you be opposed to simply showing a lease agreement you have that's valid? Because we're in valid? court arguing. Why wouldn't you actually because support Because he doesn't have any evidence of anything. So how, did you pay for those 15 months? Simple question. He did not. He failed on his end of the contract, which is what did, we Did you pay for those 15 months? He failed to end on the end of the contract. How did he fail? He did not let me execute the contract as it said I could. It's been very clear in the court system. Can you elaborate? No. Now, while Steve refuses to elaborate, the fact that he has refused to pay rent and remained in the home for... He's the type of guy that try to find loopholes in the system and just abuse it. <laughs> two years remains clear, but it seems like you're going to string this out for as long as possible. It's I will continue to fight this in the court system as I've been doing, and I will continue to do so. There is not I'm an not eviction proceeding rent, on this not right one time. no such thing. Well, we have a 90-day eviction notice in here from Katrina. I've not seen that. Okay, let me show it to you. Have you ever seen this before? The 90 days notice to evict? No, I mean, I would December have seen anything that went through the court process, I would have seen. I don't remember seeing this. So you've never seen this? No, I don't, I don't remember seeing it. I'm... This court document was, in fact, personally served to Steve in hand. But I don't remember seeing that. Got it. <laughs> Staying on that 100%. <laughs> Bro, this guy got served a 90-day eviction notice, right? And this one pretending like he never seen it in his life. Damn well know that he have seen it. That's why he probably having a garage sale, too, to up his money. So when he do get kicked out, he has money to put down somewhere else so he could do the same BS, too, to a different person. The question is, why are you staying here when you don't own this house? You it repeatedly, and you keep wanting to spin it every which way you can. No, I you don't, don't believe that the court system can handle anything. You don't think that Not civil litigation... Oh, interesting. And there go the cops. If someone is now holding up their end of the contract, bro, just leave, bro. Just leave. Leave. Do not sit there. Do not not pay rent. Do not just leave, bro. Especially if you have a name and you have like a million followers, bro. You need your image as clean as possible. You don't need this type of attention, bro. It's not good for you and your career. Bro, just leave. <laughs> How you guys doing? You guys been asking me for private property. Yeah, so is he the owner of the property? He is. Do you have proof of ownership here? Who are you? Uh, independent journalists. And he, this is your house? I'm the one, yes. C yeah. Can we see the lease agreement? No, it's none we... of your business, okay? What do you mean? Well, I'm telling you, if this is his property, you have no right to be here. But our claim is that the owner of the property has said we have full permission to come here. Who's that? Katrina, Katrina. Oh, our Katrina. Katrina. Attorneys are this is, the, this is her lease. She okay. gave us permission to be here. So, where's she at? <laughs> Bro, he is so pissed right now. He's like, I know they do not have these documents right now, bro. This is not happening. She's been advised to stay away by his attorney because he's allegedly and squatting. So they. He's oh. allegedly a squatter. And you guys are here to do a story about squatting. Okay, so you're just not here to do a story. You're injecting yourself into this. Is that what, yes. what, what I'm getting? Do you guys have a previous relationship we should be aware of? No. Not at all. 
It should be as simple as him providing valid ownership of the... Him for his lease, sir. He doesn't have to provide it to you. Why is that? How about to you, sir? No, it's a civil problem. Wait, so anyone can it's come a civil to problem all of a sudden. I own the property and you kick the other person out? With that being said, I own the property. Can you disprove otherwise? And if you can't, can you prove he does? Here's the thing is, yeah. I don't care what property you own. Sure. Okay. So can I come to your house and say I own your property? No, but you're purposely injecting yourself in here to nope. draw attention to yourselves. What are you talking about? Why are you here? <laughs> to get his side of the story. Maybe he doesn't want to give his side of the Correct. story. which is why he called you to kick us out. It's a civil problem. We're looking up the plot ownership right now to see who owns the register with so, the county. So that's the due diligence you guys should do. Okay. Here's what I, I wish. I wish I would have shaved better, got my hair done, so I looked better for this thing here. You look good, though. Now, your looks is the least you should be worried about, bro. Like, you have two brain cells that's not functioning right. You need, you need to look into something else, bro. Your looks is the least you need to be worrying about. <laughs> so when you say it's all civil problem, can you explain what that means? If the woman says it's her property and he says he lives here and she says they're squatting, she would have to go to court and go through the entire legal process to have him eat. Okay, but I live here now. Well, you do? Sure. Well, good for you. So kick me out. <laughs> it's a civil problem. Okay, so, so why, we're roommates? That, that's done through the courts. <laughs> so sorry. He's like, wait, we're roommates? Bro, he is so confused. Bro, this guy is so confused. Oh my god, bro. So, I've officially moved in as of today with that logic. Well, and we, I have a bedroom in the second room. We, we can go through this all day long. But, but, I, no, but let's simplify it. I let's just look up who has the title here. Okay, yeah, we can both agree that's crazy logic though, right? Steve, I can set up a tent here tonight and you can call the King County Sheriff's and they can't kick me off because it's a civil matter. Well, tonight, no, we could. What do you mean? There's a time frame. You don't live here right now. You can't just move in instantly and have residence. Dolphin dive through the window, set up a tent. Still have to live here. Or an invalid. I have a lease right here. I'm not telling him he doesn't live here. <laughs> I do live here. How long have you lived here? 10 months. Well, then you live here. <laughs> so here's the deal. <laughs> so this, this property's in... in, in uh, um... I know what I said about Washington, bro. I'm moving in there, bro. I'm about to move into a $10 million house, bro. And I'm set for free, for the free ski, bro. I'm good. Conflict over a civil court I'm about good. who owns a property, who doesn't, between this gentleman uh, and lady. And who else? Katrina Freitag. Freitag so she, he, right now by court, he has legal right to be here. Legal right to be here, as do I. No, he is part right now until the court decides what is going on. He has the right to be here. And he owns a property until he- He owns the property? There, it's, That's what it's, you just it's, found? it's in court. <laughs> yeah, but but this please, is my property. Please. Oh, it's not your property. Yes, it is. You're not, you're not in the civil thing. Disprove it. Don't, I just proved it on the phone in the cat. Who owns the property? We have a, a Katrina copy. Fire Track and this gentleman do they own the property. They both own it. So Steve aside, this has become a broader Washington problem <laughs> here. Well, there's a civil thing between the three of us potentially now. Because I also live here. Good. How do I know they're the owner? Right? Sure. I mean, I'm at this point I live there too, bro. I live there too. I don't know. Well you could have typed those at home. Exactly. So that's what you're saying. That's my whole point. Yeah. This is literally my point. I know. Now do this to the camera. <laughs> While the Housing Justice Project was initially created to prevent homelessness during COVID and to provide legal representation for low-income tenants facing eviction in King County, now it seems to protect alleged white-collar squatters who refuse to pay rent in $2 million-plus homes they're Loopholes, renting, all at the cost man. of taxpayers working to survive paycheck to paycheck. What is the point of owning a home in Washington if the law will legally protect someone trying to steal it from you? And what is the point of a law that no longer represents what it means to be moral or ethical? Is that not a broken law? Please don't you. say you're going to come to my house again, all right? Okay, I didn't mean it like that. I will, I will, you will regret it. And go follow Jonathan on X at Cho Show for an Bro, what kind of threat was that? ...into Steve Hickey and updates along the way. Why do I look at him like, boy, if you don't sit your old ass down somewhere, bro? <laughs> that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe, join the fam, and I'll see you for the next one.